Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James Nelson Spring, and we are one. So today, I want to talk about how we can set up our Steam Deck to utilize the storage better with a little bit of compression. And also, the main reason is that you can download your games from Windows or from some other storage device in a much easier manner, if it's Windows or whatever operating system, and also use it on your Linux um, device, aka Steam Deck. Um, with this, it's BTRFS format, and essentially what we're going to be going over is how to set up your deck to be able to auto-mount a BTRFS uh, SD card inside of the game mode, and then also so it will be recognized in your Windows device. The Windows side is really easy. The Steam Deck side is a little bit more complicated, thus the tutorial. So... Before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar, and also let me know anything in the comments that, you know, I need to know about this. Let's get onto it. So let's go to the Steam Deck. Okay, let's just talk about this real quick. What you need to do is you need to, and I'll have this in the description below. I'll have a couple of things in the description of this video. You need to be able to download this project. And then uh, just follow these commands. Like we'll be doing it. I'll be doing this along with you. So don't, don't worry about it. Um, and we're just copying some scripts over. And these scripts, what they do is that they allow the deck to auto mount and format the SD card. So what this uh, script does that we're adding, what this will do is it will still allow you to mount your EXT4 uh, cards, but it adds additional functionality and it will automatically format your cards as BTRFS. And I actually recommend uh, formatting in the game mode and i'll kind of show you a little bit about that a little later so let's go into this then uh first up we got to download it um you can get clone whatever it's, i wouldn't recommend going this route this is a, a big tip you don't need to do this that's uh gets i mean you might need it for some other hacks and stuff that you do but you can also just download this project so downloading the project is downloaded and then you can see that all we have to do is uh, we have to, well, this is going to be compressed, so we need to uncompress it. So let's open that up, extract those files, and we can extract it here or in home, wherever we want. Um, we'll just extract it at home. Okay, and then let's check in home to see if it uh, extracted properly. Right there, we can see that all those scripts are there. Now, what we need to do is we need to CD um, into this. And to make this a little easier, honestly, let's just, I'm just gonna rename to just remove the master part. It, it, it's not really needed and we can better follow this tutorial. So now what we do is we just need to go into here. You can do LS to figure out where you're at. This is just the console. This comes uh, built into the Steam Deck, into the Steam OS, and you can find it down here in the app launcher, you can search for it if you need to, uh, just with, it's a K console, and you can see it's there. So let's get back into this. So first up, you're gonna want to do, set your password if you have not done that. And all you have to really do is do a password WD, hit enter, enter your password twice, and then it sets it. You're gonna have to do that for a step that we're gonna get into in a little bit. And then we also want to make sure we CD into BTR F deck, which is just changing the directory into BTRF deck. Now we can go ahead and do the, um, just need to make a directory called backup. And then uh, we can take this right here, this line, copy it, copy it over to here. You can, Paste with this little handy button. Oop. Okay, and then you can paste it, but I find that when you're copying from Chrome over to here, it comes with some extra uh, information. You can just also hit Control Shift V if you have a keyboard and paste it. Let's go ahead and, and do that. Okay, we copied the first thing. What we're doing is essentially just backing up the original scripts. So if we mess something up along the ways, we can just, uh, resolve the issue and it can also be used for updating down the road and we'll i'll get into the reasons why you might not want to do this and also some caveats to it so um yep 
So now we have it backed up. Now we can go ahead and uh, disable the write only uh, portion of the Steam Deck. This is the part where if it ever gets updated, if Steam Deck ever update, like if you update your Steam Deck, which I recommend doing, especially if it, even if you know if you're on beta, uh, on stable version, whatever it is, like make sure you're updating your deck. But this will potentially uh, disable your BTRFS stuff. It's most likely going to replace your script, and so um, with that, you're going to uh, need to redo this or do. There's an extra step in this uh, project that you can do uh, remedy and fix the the update kind of messing with your BTRFS. We're just going to go ahead and uh, copy and paste each line. And since we already ran sudo once, so when you run sudo, it's, it's going to require the password. That's why you need to set the password. Uh, once you've set the password once in a, in a certain session uh, length, then you don't need to do it again. So we're just going to go ahead and do each one of these commands. This is actually, honestly, a fairly simple hack. Um, it's not really a big deal. And I've had not too many issues with it. So, But we'll talk about those issues down uh, a little bit later. So now, once we've, so we've disabled uh, the SteamOS read-only. And, and this just really just protects you. So if you're trying to install a bunch of stuff that um, when SteamOS you know, updates, it doesn't just ch get rid of everything. And it will. Like, like I said, what we're doing right now, when it updates, it will, uh, on an update, replace everything that we've done. So you have to go back and do it again or do the update uh, script, which they have. Okay, so now we just need to enable it again. So it's enabled. It doesn't really matter if you leave it disabled. I don't think I've had any issues with that. It's just for safety precautions. And it even says in here, it warns you, hey, if you're going to be doing this, you could potentially break your system. Um, yeah, that's true. It just depends on what your scripts and what you're running in this uh, example, uh, the likelihood of you breaking your system, like, and you're not going to break your system. Like, you can always recover with these types of things. You can recover your system with the recovery image uh, that Steam and Valve offer. So, okay. Now, they do this step to remove the password. I don't know why. You, I think you'd always want to have your device locked down with a password. It's actually one of the things that once you hit desktop mode, enable that password just for safety reasons. Okay. So now that we have it all set up, you can see that, hey, now we should be able to go in and just uh, format in game mode. So we're going to do that next. But before we do that, just note that it, once it updates, you can restore your backups and then go through and do it all over again. Now, that being said, you should be able to also, after the update, um, you should be able to just go and reapply these scripts again. So... Um, always have, it's good to have those up, uh, those backups just in case if there is an update down the road that, um, greatly changes the way mountings happen happens, or, uh, you just might want to not mess around with it and just leave the, the mounting script that replaces your, uh, the script that we added today. You might just want to leave it that way. Okay. Now that you have that done, we should be able to go into uh, game mode. So we're going to hit return to game mode. Okay, and while that's running into game mode, I'm going to now just talk about a couple of things you need to be aware of. First up is that downloads with the BTRFS um, hack will sometimes complete and then go through and then kind of download a little bit more. And I, Steam seems to have a little bit of issues I found with the compression layer. Um, it's expecting, I think, to be a different size than what it is. Uh, I haven't run into too many issues. It's just kind of takes a, an extra step or a second to think about it when after you uh, download a game. Then also, like I said, updating the deck will cause the script to reset back to whatever the patch or the update from uh, Steam is, is being applied to that version of it. We also have our backup that you can also repl uh, replace it with. And then also you could just do this tutorial over again if they don't fundamentally change the auto mounting script that is built for the game mode. Okay, so now you, you can see the SD card up here. That indicates you typically need to reformat it, right? If we click that, it will probably ask us to format, but um, this should be a BTFS card, so let's uh, see if it worked. Okay, so since this BTFS card is should be done already, sometimes with, I feel like any time with the Steam Deck, you have to insert or re sometimes you have to remove an insert 
until it recognizes it. And so that's just some of the issues I've had with uh, SteamOS, even with the EXT4 format. Um, I've had to do that before sometimes where, you know, you insert the card. It doesn't show up automatically. What you need, usually need to do is just uh, remove the card and, you know, uh, put it in again. And you can repeat that until it should work. Sometimes you want to give it a second. But in this case, we can see that my BTRFS did work. And if you don't have BTRFS um, card, then you can go ahead and go into system and hit format. And what this will do, this will format it into BTRFS uh, and you're good to go. Now, a caveat. I highly recommend formatting it this way more than any other way because if you format it in another operating system, it most likely will lock down for that operating system or with the file permissions just aren't going to be quite right for Steam. So you're going to want to do it this way. It sucks if you have games already downloaded on it. I would back them up on your other device or on Steam or what, or on your Steam Deck or whatever, wherever else you want to back them up to and then format and then bring them back over. Then you're going to have that compression layer and you're also going to be able to use it on Windows and Linux. So with that, that is really the biggest caveat that you need to know. Format it through game mode. It's going to be your best bet to do this. Okay, so yeah, that good old format button right there is your friend, um, but make sure you're backed up. Now that we have the Linux side, the SteamOS side, the game mode side done, now if you want to be able to download games from your Windows machine, back up your games from your uh, SD card to your Windows machine, or just move things around or uh, whatever, the Windows side of this, I'm going to include in the description below a resource along with a download link where you can download a simple driver that will, that once clicked, once you've downloaded and clicked it on your Windows device and installed it, you should be able to insert a BTRFS drive and be able to both read from it and write to it. So it's honestly really cool to just, it's so easy on Windows. What we did on, on, on Linux and with SteamOS, that big part of that is that Linux already supports it. What we were doing is making sure game mode of SteamOS supports it and will allow for auto mounting and for formatting. Those are two really important things that we want done so we don't have to keep on going back into desktop mode to uh, just do some of those features. So with that, I that's all I really have to talk about with this. And let me know in the comments below if it worked out for you, if, it, if everything's going good, I want to know. If not, uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. It's worked out for me pretty well so far, like I said, with a couple of caveats, but you know, you can listen to those. With all that, uh, that's all I gotta say. Check out the description below for all the goodies for this video, and then also check out my other videos, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, later!